Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got a pretty big haul here that I brought back from Acme um, and I wanted to share those with you guys. i um, going to try to move through them kind of quickly because I don't want this video to be super long. Uh, but first, first starting out first, <clears throat> this is Ruthie's kit. So Mr. Alvis Barrington, uh, he's the fella that had the one-tenth scale 51 Ford. Um, with all the machined, amazing, uh, hand-built stuff on it. He gave this to her. I believe he, I believe he won it in the raffle and he handed it over to Ruthie and Mr. Alvis. Thank you so much for supporting, supporting her. And, uh, yeah, greatly appreciate that. He was also the one that had all those model kits in that, um, hotel room that I was invited to, which was cool. All right, when I was in that hotel room, checking all those out, Mr. Howard Hino, he, he handed me some kits. And they were cool, and here's one of them. This is a 31 Cadillac Sport Phaeton. It's a uh, a little Renwall kit. He knew that I'd uh, <laughs> fooled with those Renwalls, and he said, this one's built. He built it a long time ago, and um, I'll just pull the top off and show it to you. It's little, the little guys in here. It's... Uh, it's really cool. Um, it's got a few parts that need to be glued back on, but other than that, it's nice and shiny. It's the it's the plastic, and they he did a great job. But thank you, Howard, for that one. Also, sent a 48 Ford um, sed, uh, coupe. Uh, this one has been started, and uh, it's had some construction due. Thank you for that. I mean, if nothing else, it's got great parts in there. Thank you, Howard, for that one. And also, he gave me one of these 48 Ford convertible. And uh, this one is all there. Um, really appreciate you. As well as he sent, a, he gave me a ton. And when I say a ton, it had a lot of weight to it. He gave me a lot of scale auto magazines, uh, different car model magazines. Um, Rod and Custom magazines, a bunch of them. So you're talking about a bunch of um, reference pictures. I've got a plethora of them. Thank you, Howard, for all that stuff, all the uh, support that you you give me and everyone else. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I got this in a raffle. Um, I spent $20 on raffle tickets, and I won two kits, which are uh, worth well more than twenty dollars this is a 37 custom ford convertible by Lindbergh. this is a round two um re-release but i saw it up there and i thought that's a cool looking car and you could pick which one you wanted and uh some of the kits had already gone that i wanted i did get one that i really wanted but i saw this one and i said you know what that'd probably be a nice kit to build so i got that one another one that i got in the raffle which i'm really proud of is this one um, let me let me get me some more camera space here. There we go. Get her up in the air a little bit more. This is the uh, Tyson uh, Star Card Porsche 911 GT2. They had two of these to me of Porsches, and I saw this one and I said that'd be cool. I think it's a uh, I think it's a um, uh, curbside kit, but um, really cool looking so i got that one so i don't know what this kit costs but that one plus the Lindbergh, they would be definitely worth more than 20 bucks and uh, so i lucked out on that deal and got those kits um for a great price next i got another one of these you cannot beat these old 53 ford truck kits you cannot beat them i've got uh one just like this and the newer one um but i, I saw this and i got it it's a complete kit never started Let's see, twelve dollars, and I know that makes my European friends just almost angry that we can get these kits for such a cheap price. But yeah, this is a uh, 1985 edition for twelve dollars, a complete kit, and this is a cool, nice, cool kit. I took this, the truck of mine that's weathered like this, to Acme. It didn't place or anything. I didn't expect it to, but I just wanted to give it a give it a shot on the table. So anyway, cool kit. Speaking of 53 Fords, I picked up this one, which is the same kit, just an older version. Let's see, I don't think this would have a date on it. It doesn't. I think this is going to be, this is AMT, 
pre uh, getting bought by Lesney, um, probably somewhere around 1976 or something somewhere around there. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's probably where it's at. I hadn't looked this up on Skillmates, but it's the high stepper. They re-released this kit, um, not the high stepper, but they re-released -re -re this kit uh, with a lot of these custom parts. But this is an original release here. You can build it the stock, um, or you can build it the hot rod. And I thought it was really cool, and I paid $15 for that kit. So I got that one. And I liked it so much that sitting right beside it was another one. And uh, this one was marked for $20. I, I guess maybe because this one has a little few stains on the box right in here and this one doesn't i don't know but both of them are complete kits and i just could not pass these up the same seller was selling them uh, both and I, I got them both um swap meets are just wonderful if you want to spend some money all right here's an here's here's one that i've been looking for and i was able to purchase it 69 pontiac firebird 400 and i got it because of a unique factor that this kit has it has the inline overhead cam six um it says here on the box it just says engine options 400 cubic inch um separate parts to build a 250 cubic inch six but it doesn't say the 250 cubic inch inline overhead cam six which is a unique engine <coughs> excuse me that pontiac put out for a while um uh, Jay Leno has one of these cars and I want to build I'd like to build it up to look like that one that he built but anyway this one has a six cylinder in it there's another version of this kit also it's the uh, Trans Am I believe it is it's a white Trans Am it also has the uh, the six cylinder in it um, yeah I just think it, I think it's <coughs> excuse me I think it's a cool unusual uh, engine combination and I've seen one now at the show several times saw it at Acme last year saw it in North Charleston South Carolina um, and uh, yeah I, I want to build one with the six on there so there you go here's one that's near and dear to my heart because I was my dad was always a Ford guy and um, I always idolized the boss 429 Mustang but you know what it's kind of like who wouldn't because it's such a uh, rare expensive car that uh yeah here's the 70 boss mustang 124 scale by monogram um this is a 1981 version of this kit it is complete i got it for 15 bucks the box is squished but who cares so i got it for 15 dollars man that thing would build up nice boss 429 mustang just love it love it love it monogram kits are so have always at least in my opinion are such great kits to build they, uh, they had great stuff. 124 scale, but it was great stuff. All right, here is one that maybe not everyone has seen. Not the kit, not the car, but the brand. Uh, Advent. Have you ever seen an Advent kit? Um, 27T Phaeton. This is the, uh, I think it says it on here somewhere, Little John Butera. Um, but see, this is an off company of Ravel, 1979 by Ravel, Venice, California. So Advent was just a, uh, a, co a company that Ravel created. I don't know why you don't see too many of them. I don't know. I really have no idea why I've never done any investigating or anything like this, but this is the little John Butera, um, 27T Phaeton. I've got that kit over there. It says it's the Ravel 27T Touring, but it's the same exact car. And uh, I saw this one, I gave $15 for it. And it is absolutely brand spanking new. Uh, I'm not gonna open it. Molded in orange, you gotta love it. Orange is my favorite color, by the way. So I got that kit. Here is, let's do this. I, I always, I'm just fascinated by Model T's and Model A's. I'd love to have one one day. I saw this kit, um, uh, had it marked for 10 bucks. 10 bucks, complete kit. Awesome little AMT kit. This is probably, this is AMT Ertl. 
So we're looking at, uh, it may have a date on there. Mm, no date. It's got a barcode, so it's at least mid, like 76 or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't know what year this one would be. Ertl bald had them after. This has got to be probably night early 80s, early 80s, maybe 1980, 81, something like that. Pretty sure Ertl brought them after Lesney, which was uh, Matchbox had them. And I think they sold like 78 or 79. So it's somewhere in that early 80s, super early 80s. Model 27 Ford Model T. Very, very cool. 28 Lincoln um, by Lindbergh. Special. This is the best part about the whole thing. Special. 79 cents. So this kit is out of the 60s. I looked it up the other day and I forgot, but it's out of the 60s. It's in its, it's wrapped. No guys, that's not re-wrapped. This is original wrap. Um, hard, stiff old cellophane. But yeah, kit number 6010. 1928 Lincoln, classic car. An authentic scale plastic construction kit by Lindbergh. I think it's yeah, it's 132nd scale, and I've got several of these already. The uh, Lindbergh 32nd scale uh, cars, and I, I saw this one for I forget what I gave. Um, I remember this guy said he was watching the table for his buddy. I think he said I think he wants fifteen dollars. I think that's what he said, and I'm like okay, I'll give I'll give you what he, what you think he wants for it. So anyway, got that kit, very cool. Here is a Palmer. A Palmer, yeah, um, I just got the, uh, a few other Palmers that I have not shown in the video, in a video. Well, I tell you what, you may have already seen those Palmers. I don't know which video is going to get released first, but anyway, Palmers are very unique to say the least. Got this one for $10. It is out of the sixties, um, early sixties. It's a one thirty second scale. It's, it was 60 cents is what this is kit 406. 132nd scale um, 49 Ford Tudor. Tudor. Um, what is really cool about this is I don't know why they did it, but the they had this kit produced a couple couple years apart. The first edition of this box art had the Road Runner on here, right? It said Road Runner series, and it had the Road Runner on its wheels. You know the the one from uh, the Coyote Road Runner. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this one, they removed, apparently they lost like maybe licensing or something like that. So it just says the road series with the crazy wheel. That's the feet of the road runner. That's, uh, yeah. So it's, I think this is really unique because of that fact. Again, gave $10 for this kit. It's complete and, uh, it is not a motorized Palmer. Um, but we'll open this one up sometime soon. And check it out but I thought man that is really cool made and printed in USA Palmer Plastics Incorporated Brooklyn 36 New York I don't know what the 36 means but anyway yeah check it out go on uh, scale mates and look up kit number 405 or 406 Palmer and you'll see what I'm saying it'll show the two different ones one with the Roadrunner this one does not have it very unique okie dokie next one here is a Johan kit that I bought for fifteen dollars, um, probably because it's a Mercedes Benz 500K 1935. I would assume that not so many people would want to build a Mercedes if it's Johan. They wanted to stick with you know American muscle. But I saw this kit and I'm like, man, it's a Johan kit for fifteen bucks. It must be half built. Opened it up. It's complete. It's there. It's like never been touched, and I am going to build this. It will be my first Johan model build. I love, love, love how Johan had this system of how all the parts would fit in the box. They had little, little pins that everything. It's called exclusive frame pack, but they would, uh, they would all fit together, and it's not in the box the way it should be. So, um, yeah, fifteen dollars a. Johan kit. I'll do a box opening on this one. It's very nice and I can't wait to build it. So there you go for $15. And uh, I don't even know what year this one was. <clears throat> but it's probably, if I'm just guessing, 
late seventies, mid to late seventies. I don't know. I'll look it up one day. <clears throat> All right. Ultra cool. Ultra cool. The first old monogram kit I've ever had. And they're, yes, still 124 scale. So this would be out of the 60s. See the old monogram logo? No, this is not a repop. This is the real deal. Um, $15 complete classic Mercedes Benz uh, 5, 540K. I didn't, even, I didn't even realize that this is the 500K. This is 540K. So anyway, they're not the same car, but oh well. I plan on building this. Um, I saw it and i'm like you know what the box has seen better days i've never I, I like to build old kits it's very fun this one's open i'm not going to bust plastic or anything and it's just cool it's got the german box art in the back it's got a bunch of german right or it's got german writing on the on the uh the um the buildings it's got the artist's name who painted the picture or made the picture here and again i saw it 15 dollars. i said i'm i'm, I'm going to build it i already made my Oh, there it is. Look at their 1966 copyright. Check it out. So, uh, yeah, guys, this is so cool. We'll open this one up, too, and look at the parts and pieces very soon. All right, last but not least at all. Last but best of all. Um, this was... I mean, how many Holy Grails can you have? I don't know. But I found another one. And I didn't think kit anywhere, but... Uh, got the IMC Volkswagen Beetle the one that you can build with the V8 in the front or you can build it an actual stock Beetle uh, with opening doors and um, yeah stock version or a uh, AA altered version with a 426 Hemi um, yeah I got this this is so cool I've, I've been wanting this kit forever not forever but you know what I mean and I've seen people that have it. They're super expensive online. If you'll look on eBay, uh, $125 or so. They've gone completely out of sight. Like real Volkswagens have. They've gone out of sight. That's why I got two of them that I'm not going to let go. Because they're, they they only go up in value. But this IMC kit. Number one, it's an IMC kit, which is really cool to me. But number two, it's a Volkswagen, which I absolutely love. My fa Probably my favorite car in the whole wide world, Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, bring back so many memories. The only thing that I found is missing in this is one red taillight lens. So I don't know if anybody has this kit, parts or pieces, but I'm in need of a red taillight lens. Um, I, I didn't see anything else missing. That's it. We'll open this kit up sometime soon and check out all the parts and pieces. Uh, but yeah, this was an awesome model haul, an awesome show, awesome vendors, and great prices. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. That's, that's like a combination that can't be beat. Great vendors, great model kits, and great prices. Um, the only thing that's worse is just not having any money to buy them with. And I got close. I, I, didn't have, I couldn't buy all I wanted, but I, I did get quite a few that I did want. Guys, thanks for watching this video. I am, uh, again, grateful, blown away by generosity of the people that are in this community. Um, thanks to Howard um for those magazines um thanks for those kits um thanks to out mr alvis for giving uh ruthie uh that that um uh, corvette kit and just again o overwhelmed so much to talk about so many memories made it at acme but i got to bring some home and i hope you enjoyed this video so if you did hey guys hit that like button if you're not already subscribed go hit the subscription button check out the um um, hobby nut models every time i build a kit it it usually always gets mcw paint which is a great line of uh, model paint go check it out at hobbynutmodels.com he's got all kinds of colors mark does and everything else is including kits so go check out that inventory hobbynutmodels.com linked in the description below as well as the facebook group the spring store i'm wearing one of the shirts that you could buy from the spring store right now i'm warm i'm nice and warm it's a long sleeve it's kind of chilly today Go check out that inventory there and my Patreon members. Guys, thank you so much. Um, I'd encourage you, if you're not already, go check out the uh, Patreon page and uh, become a member if you're not, if you're so interested. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next video. Take care. Bye.